This video will outline the throttle position sensor and circuit for the MXV fuel injection system, including error codes, use of the FI diagnostic tool, and provide tips for troubleshooting failures and running performance problems that might not trigger an error code. The TPS has three wires, 5 volts DC reference voltage, a ground wire, and a third signal wire into the ECU. The TPS is a variable resistor. The resistance of the signal wire to ground will vary depending on the throttle setting, where the signal wire contacts the resistor. The ECU uses the voltage signal from the TPS to determine the position of the throttle plate in the throttle body. The TPS has two possible error codes, P0122, TPS circuit low voltage or open, P0123, TPS circuit high voltage. If the voltage falls below 0.5 volts DC, the ECU will trigger P0122. Possible causes would be the 5 volt wire broken between the TPS and this parallel junction, the signal wire broken between the TPS and the ECU, or the ground wire open between the TPS and this parallel junction. If the signal voltage is over 4.8 volts, then the ECU will set P0123. Possible causes would be the signal wire shorted to either 5 volt or 12 volt circuit inside the harness or a TPS failure. Connect the FI Diag tool and turn the main switch on. Set the tool to the Diag mode TPS setting. Fully closed, you should see around 10 to 12 percent with the engine not running. Check the TPS setting by holding the governor arm down, which will close the throttle linkage up against the idle stop screw. You should see 0 to 5 percent. Now move the throttle from closed to full open, watching the percentage reading increase. It should be smooth and the reading stays steady when you stop the throttle at different points. The full open percentage is different on the three models of MXV engines. Now close the throttle. Now start the engine. And the TPS setting should be 0 to 5 percent at idle and the no load engine speed should be 1450 to 1550 RPM. Open the throttle to full. The TPS setting will be around 10 to 12 percent and the no load high engine speed should be 3550 to 3600 RPM. If you do not get these TPS readings, especially the 0 to 5 percent at idle, follow the procedure in the service manual for TPS relearning. Then recheck the TPS settings and the low and high engine speeds. Follow the service manual to adjust the engine speeds if needed. Use the following steps to verify the throttle position sensor circuit if needed. Back probe to the gray wire and the black wire of the TPS connector and reconnect the sensor. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the gray wire and the negative lead to the black wire. Turn the main switch on. You should see 4.9 to 5 volts DC. This proves the 5 volt DC reference voltage is good, the black wire back to the ECU is good, and the ground circuit through the ECU is good. If the voltage is less than 4.9, move the ground wire for the voltmeter to a good ground on the engine. If the voltage is 4.9 to 5 volts using a ground at the engine, the black wire between the sensor and the ECU has excessive resistance. If the voltage is still low, there may be excessive resistance in the gray wire between the ECU and the sensor, or the 5 volt circuit in the ECU has failed. Back probe to the blue-orange wire at the sensor and the blue-orange wire at the ECU connector. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the blue-orange wire at the sensor and the negative lead to a good ground. Turn the main switch on and note the voltage reading. It will vary depending on the throttle setting. With the throttle closed, it should be less than 1 volt. The actual voltage is not critical for this step. Now move the back probe from the blue-orange wire at the sensor to the blue-orange wire at the ECU. The voltage should be the same. If the voltage is lower, there is unwanted resistance in the wire between the sensor and the ECU. Switch the positive lead back and forth between the sensor and the ECU a couple times to recheck the voltage readings. There is no default setting for a TPS failure. The engine will stop and not restart if the ECU detects a failure in the TPS sensor or circuit. Other videos in this series will give you in-depth troubleshooting and diagnostic information on each FI sensor and circuit. Be sure to watch them all and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.